what's up good people welcome to my channel my name is Omboi Karen I hope everything has been fine and dandy on your side of the screen things have been okay but over here but they could be better <laughs> is working i've been i've it when i use it on my phone like when i test it it looks like it's working but i don't know if it's actually working so guys please tell me if the sound has changed or if it's still the same because honestly i feel like it's not doing anything maybe i should get a new one this is an old one i had lying around at the house so a bitch is struggling. A bitch is struggling. So, anyway, today I want to bust those bubbles, those myths that you've been, uh, those myths, mis myths, misconceptions that you've been having. Some things that you've been thinking were true all your life, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you right now. This might end in tears. Premium tears. <laughs> yes, because today I'm the myth buster. I'm the misconception buster. On to our first myth. The first myth is that do you guys know Mario uh, Marie Antoinette? She was the um, the last queen of France. She ruled France from 1774 to 1793. So she's really known for for like you know when people were hungry and then she was asked what what to, what should happen then she said let them eat cake you know like she was like to portray they were trying to portray like, like she was oblivious of the situation that that she was out of touch with what was going on around her country you know but imagine it turns out that she never actually said those words she never did like let them eat cake. Like she was being told that there's no bread, there's nothing to eat, and she said, she said, let them eat cake. Wow, that's what it's claimed that she said, but she actually never said it. Myth number one, <laughs> busted. In your face. <laughs> Myth number two, do, I know you know the Napoleon complex. This is, we, we use the Napoleon complex when we are talking about like maybe... When someone is short, a lafu they are like uh, like an overcompensate, like he's unnecessarily rude, unnecessarily like mtu akona issues too. And then you say just because the person is short, like mostly for men, when men are shorter, then they have that attitude or something wrong with them. You say it's the Napoleon complex because people thought that. Napoleon is, is, a, is a small man, but he actually was five 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 feet five. He's actually taller than. Okay, I'm short, but he he was he's I am five one, but Napoleon is was five five, meaning he was four inches taller than me. <laughs> that is not a short man. Okay, maybe for a man he's short, but he wasn't that short. Because when you think of the Napoleon complex, you the the man is called Napoleon Bonaparte. From Ottoman Bonaparte. Yeah, so you might think that because it's called the Napoleon complex that he's actually now maybe he's he's shorter. Sorry about that. My head was in Kuina Kato. How do you like my wig guys? Should I go wiggy or baldy? Not really baldy, but you know, short hair. How do you like? How do you like it? How do I look? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so Napoleon, Napoleon complex. He wasn't that short. When you think about it, you think that he's a short man, but he wasn't that short. He was five five. Okay, that myth busted in your face. Misconception number three. That we know, you know, when you watch movies, this one's for maybe kidnapping or something. That they say that you need to report a missing person after 24 hours, that you can't report earlier than that. Well, that is just for pure entertainment, there's nothing like that. They usually say that the first, the first hours when a person goes missing are the most 
crucial hours so you should not wait 24 hours to report a missing person i don't know if that's also the case here i really don't know but yes that that what we see in the movies is a lie is a total lie you should not wait 24 hours to report a missing person ah to file a missing person's report that is myth number three busted in your face <laughs> myth number four misconception number four that when you take alcohol you know when you're feeling cold then you say let me take these two shots shots of tequila shots of whiskey so that my body needs like a feel warm warm so that my body temperature can rise actually that's not how it works your brain and your body are tricking you this during the digestion process the liver gives off heat as it metabolizes the alcohol therefore it can create a feeling of being warm but is in fact lowering the person's core body temperature though the person may sweat their temperature is not actually rising but lowering hmm? i know most of us have been victims of even me have sometimes there was a day i was cold and they said let me take a couple of shots so that i can feel warmer and i actually felt, felt warmer but turns out it's my mind playing tricks on me yeah so you see that is sadly not true just take some chocolate some hot chocolate some tea okay so now a four bay so now four bay four bay see your dufu misconception stroke myth number five that bats are blind we usually say as blind as a bat my goodness let me tell you let me tell you girl bats are not blind they have tiny eyes but they're actually not blind they have their eyes are more sensitive i don't know what can i say they're powerful they can they can see during the day and they can see they can see like they can see they're not blind some people say that they can see only at night, but no, they can see even during the day. They can see all the freaking time. So, blind is a bat. That I mean, me kwaniki fikiria. Do not see. We usually say that blind is a bat, but turns out, in your face, busted. No, nothing like that. Bats ah, bats are not blind. Okay. They, in fact, they see, uh, they can see three times better than humans. Yep, your whole life was a lie. <laughs> Misconception number six, that um, that chameleons they camouflage so as to protect themselves from enemies. That is what we thought, but that is actually not true. Chameleons when they change color, they're just changing color to, to regulate their temperatures and to communicate with other chameleons. So it's not about camouflaging or ah, it's not about like um to protect them from their enemies. That's what we were taught. That is misconception number six. Misconception number seven. You know the five second rule like when you drop something you're told if you pick it within the five five, five seconds it won't be contaminated with bacteria or whatever whatever ciao that's a lie that's a lie the moment you've dropped that thing on the ground your food your snack your piece of chicken bacteria may panda within the first five seconds the sharp panda so even though that's the case, I'll still apply it. <laughs> I'll still apply the five second rule. If it has dropped within the five seconds, if I pick it within the five seconds, no bacteria is there in my mind. But really, there's a, a lot of bacteria is already in that piece of chicken. So, yep. Okay. Misconception number eight that uh, sign language, you know, for the the deaf and dumb the 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 sign language you know we usually think it's universal like it's the same everywhere but i've also learned while doing this research that it's not it's just like the way we have um american english uh 
British English, we have like different different variations of a language. Sign language is the same. There are different variations of the sign language. There's a there's a country that uses one hand for sign language and then there are others that use both hands for sign language. So don't assume that sign language is the same is universal, like it's the same everywhere else. It's not, it varies just like other languages vary. That is misconception number eight. Busted. Misconception number nine is that ah, this this thing we've seen in movies so much. Like when someone is bit by, the, by a snake, you have to suck the venom out of the the person. Imagine this is a lie. It does not work. You should not suck. You should not suck it because anyway, the um, because they say. It does not do anything to help because the venom spreads quickly and cannot be easily located. And not only that, but about 25% of the snake's venom is dry. The, the snake's bite are dry and they do not contain any venom. 25% of the snake bite is dry and does not contain any venom. So, ukijifanya hapa daktari with your with your d degree that you got from watching television <laughs> watching Grey's Anatomy and New Amsterdam and all all those medical dramas it ain't so and not even medical dramas even just movies in general they show us like when someone is bitten by a snake you need to suck the venom out don't 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 Terrorize yourself. Don't give yourself post-traumatic stress PTSD by sucking <laughs> Whatever By sucking venom out of someone's body part Imagine whichever body part. Imagine if I may I may um wanna sneak on my taco for us Now you start sucking the The venom out of the ass. See you in a PTSD I know I've saved you a lot of therapy sessions and all that okay thank me thank you you're welcome i mean you're welcome you're welcome we are at misconception number 10 i think these people this one many people know like when you know bleed when you know bleeding we used to do this like you tilt your head you tilt your head when you nose bleeding so that your blood can go back so that as in cannot bleed imagine that is wrong but i know i learned this a long time ago but anyway it's not this is not new to me because i remember learning this many 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 years many years ago i think when i was in primary or high school anyway yeah so you need to because when you do this the the blood will may go back and it will choke you so you need to do to bend to bend down okay you don't need yeah because sitting head back can cause the blood to leak back into your throat which could make you choke or throw up instead you should sit up straight with your head tilted slightly forward while gently pinching your nostrils like this just keep on going not we not the other way okay you're welcome so okay this other one is for jellyfish when you go to the beach do people get stung by jellyfishes here? But I've ever been stung by something. I don't know if it's a jellyfish. But something stung me. But okay, no, the the misconception is when someone is stung by a jellyfish, you should um urinate on them. That's a lie. That's a goddamn lie. You shouldn't do that. Okay? Just take the person to the hospital. By the urinating on that person makes it even worse, makes the injury even worse. So don't be don't be doing shit like that. Don't be urinating on innocent people. Don't be urinating on patients. Okay? Yeah, just take them to the hospital as quick as you can. Or to someone who knows what they're doing. Okay, number twelve. Final misconception. Final myth busted in your face. Twelve. You should Okay, this is another thing from the movies also. Huh? Like you see in movies, mtu amekatwa, like say me if your finger is cut or maybe your arm or whatever. 
or your nose or just an ear. So you see these people in the movies, they put the, they rush that body part into a bo in a box of ice. That's not how what you should, but this is helpful if anyone gets something gets amputated by mistake. So what you should do, you should cover that thing with a material. As in you should not, the long, the short version of this is do not put it directly in the ice make sure you you cover it with several layers cover it maybe you maybe the ziplock but the ziplock bags i think yeah but do not put directly into the ice because you'll cause harm to the you'll cause harm to the thing to the that part and it might not be good enough to be reattached so those are, are my the 12 misconceptions through myths that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found them enlightening and entertain, entertaining at the same time. I hope I haven't broken your sweet little heart with these truths, this this hush hush truths. But you'll be okay. You're strong. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. There's been worse things that have happened in this world, in your life. So take heart keep watching my videos comment like share subscribe to my channel i'm so happy you're here i'm so happy you're watching i feel the support see you in my next video all around blessings love and light my people